The way we keep chameleons at night is very different than how we keep them during the daytime. We must pay special attention to both their temperatures and humidity levels. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks for keeping your chameleon at night to make sure that they sleep safe and sound. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I want to give a quick shout out to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. Walmart has literally thousands of Reptile products online and even carries them in store at your local Walmart, making it easy and convenient to find affordable reptile products for both your pet chameleon and other reptiles, making sure that they live long, happy, healthy lives. Most people are pretty familiar with the daytime temperature requirements for chameleons, and that's achieved by using a basking bulb to provide a nice temperature gradient for our chameleons warm at the top and cooler at the bottom. But we're not supposed to use any lights at night. No heat bulb, no UV, UVB, nothing, no lights. So then we ask ourselves, well, how am I supposed to keep my chameleon warm if I'm not allowed to use any sort of heat bulbs? So in case you didn't know, chameleons actually benefit from a temperature drop. Veils and panthers do best around 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit at night, and Jackson's even colder, 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit at night. And this allows the chameleon's body to do what it needs to do to reset and process. And honestly, it's a little more scientific than I want to get into, but they really do need that temperature drop. Being kept at 70, 80 degrees Fahrenheit consistently is not great for their bodies. So. If the home that your chameleon is in, the room that your chameleon is in, is naturally in the 60 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 to 60, depending on your species, amazing, great, then you just turn your lights off at night and be good to go. But what if you live somewhere cold or the temperature in your home is super, super cold below those temperature recommendations? Then what do you do? And that's when a ceramic heat emitter comes into play. So ceramic heat emitters will put off heat without putting any light. And thanks again to Walmart for partnering with me so I can show you guys how this all works. So this is the Fluker's 60 watt ceramic heat emitter. You can see it's not a bulb, it's not gonna put off any light, it's ceramic. Just like that. And then you will need a fixture. I'm using the Zilla Reflective Dome, but Walmart sends tons of different fixtures and those are all great options. But just like a heat bulb, you're gonna take your ceramic heat emitter and your fixture and you're gonna screw it in there just like you would with your heat bulb. Do, do, do. Perfect. And then this will go on top of your enclosure, plug into a timer. Obviously it's gonna be a different timer than your lights because this one will turn on when your other lights turn off. But then that will provide your chameleon a nice warm temperature to get them in the correct ranges so that they are nice and safe. Now that we've got the temperature sorted, let's talk about humidity. So chameleons benefit from higher humidity at night versus the daytime, and this is because they can breathe in that moist air and actually become hydrated that way. This is considered naturalistic hydration and we're trying to emulate what they experience in the wild. When the fog would roll in and there'd be dew on the leaves, and so then they can breathe in the air and drink off the leaves in the morning. So fogger should really only be used at nighttime, and they're a great way to raise that humidity level to be 70% or higher which is what is required for a Jackson's Veiled and Panther Chameleon. This is the Repti Zoo Fogger. So the water goes in this compartment here and then the hose goes up into the chameleon enclosure. It's great to have it at the top so then the fog can roll down. And then of course this could get plugged in to a timer. Um, actually there's a timer on the front, but obviously you've got options. So this fogger is great. Just make sure that you're cleaning it regularly. We don't want any mold or bacteria or anything to grow in here because then we're transferring that to our chameleon. So just keep it clean, keep it tidy, and just make sure you're using it at night. I hope this video helped you understand why it's important to have both the temperatures and the humidity correct for your chameleon and how you can achieve those with the ceramic heat emitter, fixture, and fogger, all of which will be linked down in the description box below. And while you're there, feel free to check out the other reptile products on walmart.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so you can post a new video. Follow Neptune and all my chameleons on social media at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why did I have to repeat myself? <laughs> now, most chameleons, not most chameleons. Uh...